Rich Baum, Rich Baum Photography, Sacramento, California. Good morning, and uh, I'm doing a little tutorial now today on something that will probably help many people. And uh, we all have bathrooms like this. You know, basic shot of a bathroom. We have a mirror, and in the mirror is a reflection. It could be a reflection of many things. But we're going to talk today about lighting. And what I'm doing here is the way I light normally is I choose to hold a light, light stand up and I put it above the camera in front of the camera, which gives me access to uh, a nice ceiling to bounce off of. But we have this one issue here. So what do we do? Now, you can have many different issues in a bathroom with reflections. And this is one way to really to think about it. Break it up into two different shots. Uh, bathrooms can be puzzles. And what I choose to do is I'm going to do this shot, so I'm lighting for everything except the reflection. Okay, so I've got, uh, I'm exposing for the lights here, and it's not the greatest shot. Some shadows here and stuff, which I could fix with another exposure, ambient exposure, but right now we're just going to deal with masking in this shot. So then, I come in here, in the screen, in the shot, not worried about that because the only thing I'm going to use is the inside mirror part. And I like the exposure there. Now I use a cam ranger so I can see what I'm doing in my iPad. And I can also trigger the camera and change my settings from away from the camera, which really helps with this kind of stuff. The only thing to do is you got to make sure that your yourself and your light and everything is out of the reflection of the, because that's the only part we're going to use. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both of these shots, that one and that one. I'm going to right click, I'm going to bring it into as layers in Photoshop. Okay. Open that up. Again, SSD hard drive is fast. Okay. So, right now, I want to mask this part in, so I'm keeping this on top. And then I'm just going to go down here and add a layer mask. And as I'm doing that, I'm holding down the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC. There I go. Okay. So this is a fairly good shot. It's a good starting point. And all I want to do is take this out. So, and I guess the goal here is to really just think of your shots as you would be editing them. Um, you can get out of a lot of situations just by understanding what you're going to do later and you get those different pieces of the composite and you put it together and it's bam 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 very fast so I'm going to take here and I want to select this mirror so what I'm going to do is take my polygonal tool right here and I'm going to then select the inside of the mirror Okay. Boom. And I'm going into paintbrush. And I'm painting 100% flow and 100% opacity. And I've also got a hard brush. That's what I want. It's white so I can paint it in. Okay. Let me see. Oh, pure paintbrush here. Okay. Okay, and I go boom, boom, boom. Oh, wait, I don't know why I'm at 11%. Sorry, I was on the wrong tool. Okay, boom. Done deal. Deselect, and there you have it. Now, I could have not had orange there. Actually, I can do another uh, little little thing okay so let me I don't want to confuse you too much so there you go and I want to change that in there so I'm going to do another another thing and you can do this several ways but I'm going to flatten this image command E on a Mac and I'm going to choose a um, create a new layer mask a new uh, layer and then I'm just going to go to color 
here. And I'm going to, this is another one I just recently uh, found. I'm going to pick the color I want. And that's going to be, I'm going to pick that. Okay. So click OK. Go in here. And I just want to paint in at about, oh, let's go about 18%. Okay, bring this down. And just Okay, and what I'm going to do here, let's kind of change it to gray, so I'm just going to bring the opacity down a little bit. Okay, there we go. That'll do, I think. So there you have it. It's a reflection of a window, of a mirror too, so it's no big deal. Anyway, I'm going to do another thing that I have been doing lately. I'm going to do it real time. So I'm going to close this out. I just want to show that it doesn't take that long. Okay, it took about a minute and a half to shoot. And here we go. Okay, I'm going to edit in Photoshop. Oh, wait, let me start my, I'll do real timing. Here we go. Open it up into Photoshop. Okay, I'm going to put my reflection on top. I'm going to make a new mask holding down uh, option. I'm going to select the uh, mirror. It's about the slowest thing in this whole process is selecting it. Okay, I'm going to paint it in. There we go. Okay. And then we're deselect, go out of there, and you're done. Okay, Richbound Photography, Sacramento, California. Oops, I forgot to do one thing. We can't deliver an image that looks like that. We're going to go down, and we're going to go to basic. I like to do all this. Auto. Here we go. And personally, I don't like to see this stuff, so I'm going to bring this in past the handle. And I almost don't like to see the... Ah, I don't like to see the uh, much of the towel, but I'm going to show a little bit of the towel. And I want to see the lights, and I want to see the cabinet. And I guess I've got to fix my verticals, because we all know how important verticals are, and a little more there you go. So that's the finished product. It's not perfect. <laughs> Please, no feedback on negatives. And again, I could have fixed the color back here. I showed you. So anyway, it took about a minute, I'd say maybe a minute and a half. And that's how you get out of there, because if you wanted to try and hide your lights and stuff, it'd take you a lot longer. So anyway, Rich Baum, Rich Baum Photography. Have a great day. See you later.